Hi, North Olmsted families and students. In this video, we are going to talk about your Chrome extensions, things like tab resize or the read and write read aloud, or even things like Google Meet, Grid View, and other tools your teacher may use with you for meeting with your class. Now, extensions are something that only will work within a Chrome browser. There are other um, browsers that do have extensions, but with what we are using with students, these are primarily for Chrome. So if you are on a desktop or laptop, the very first thing that you want to ensure that you are doing is using the Chrome browser. And if you do not have this browser, you want to go ahead and get it. So what I would recommend is opening up whatever browser you already have on your computer. Maybe this is something like Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Safari, if you're on a Mac. And once you open up that browser, you are going to want to search for installing Google Chrome. This should lead you to Google's page that has the download that you need. Now it should automatically recognize which computer you are on. And underneath this, it says right now I'm on a Windows 10 machine. This is what I would download. If I open this on a Mac, it should provide me the download for Chrome for the Mac. Now, once you have this downloaded and installed on your machine, you're going to want to get in to Chrome and sign in properly. So we are going to head back over to Chrome. And we're going to get signed in properly. If you see this screen, you will be able to click already a Chrome user sign in. And then here you would type in your email address, making sure you have at anolmstead.org on the end. And then you would head over and type in the password for that account. Once you are completely signed in, it is really important that if at any point a window pops up asking you to link data, that you click to link the data, and also that you select to sync. So I know that I am syncing if I click on my smaller icon up in the corner and I see that sync is on. If I already have my personal account signed into Chrome, I can sign in another account by simply clicking add, typing in my name, this is just for, or perhaps typing in school, this is just a nickname for the account, selecting add, and then following the directions again by clicking already a Chrome user and going ahead and signing into that account. This will help you with signing into Chrome and then giving it a few minutes, it will start to pull out any extensions that have already been installed on your account by the district. You will also be able to click on the puzzle piece to see further extensions that are installed. Extensions that you use all the time can be pinned so that you can quickly access them when needed. Certain extensions won't need to be pinned because they will work regardless. Things like read and write for Google Chrome that allows you to have web pages and other things read aloud, that one will need pinned. But an extension like Google Meet Grid View will not need pinned.